Hello everyone, welcome to another video. I am Rider of Dinosaurs. In today's video, we're going to see a video by Phuket Word. Phuket Word? Phuket Word. Well, doesn't matter. Well, some of you might recognize this video as it was released on Simon Dan's channel, but from a different source or someone who actually mirrored Phuket's video. Now, why would I do this? Well, there was something that Simon Dan didn't address, and I always like to put my own spin on things. So, I hope you like it, I hope you enjoy it, I hope you stay until the end. But as always, and before we get started, a big thank you to all my Patreons. My word, Puckett old chap, don't you know how to edit a video? Oh wait, you're a flat earther, aren't you? <sighs> Let's continue. Let's take advantage of his freeze frame and let's zoom in into his sun and the um, circle he did to uh, measure the sun, all right? The blue circle represents the size of the sun and the red circle represents Phuket's marker. As you can see, it's not a good start for Phuket, is it? AM, 29th of February. All right. Of course I'm not all right. What kind of a silly camera angle is that? You scared me after death. Jesus. It's about a uh, quarter past 11 now. I'm gonna have a look at the sun again. So I zoomed in a little bit more this time. Do you see what I see? No? Let's use the same references. Blue for the sun, red for the marker. Do you see it now? Right, so it's 11.15, same day. Zoomed in. And so, oh, we're gonna midday. Shot of the sun now. Zoomed. No zoom. And. Zoomed in. Everyone can see this one, right? Right? Okay, I'll do the same thing as I did for the previous ones. As always, we have the blue circle for the sun and the red circle for the marker. Can you see the difference here? Someone's fudging the results. Oh, Phuket. Do you need to resort to this? Of course you do. Well, by now you know what I'm going to do. And by now, probably, you'll be able to spot it yourself. But let's do it anyway. Again, misrepresenting the size of the sun. Intellectual integrity is not strong with this one. Now. 
Finally, with this one, I'm not going to do what I did previously because from what I can see, the marker is actually the right size of the sun for the first time. So I'm going to leave this one and let the video progress. Now, when you skew the results like you did with your markers, of course this would be your result. Now, I propose a little experiment. So basically, I took screenshots of all the suns from your video just before the marker popped up. So there's no difference in zoom. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to superimpose each picture for each time of the day onto your graphic. Now, these images are 80% opaque, which means there are 20% transparent so that we could match the graph to the picture. Let's see the results, shall we? So we start with a 9 a.m. screenshot that will be matched to the graph. So let's move it a little bit. Almost there. And there we go. As you can see, there's a bit of a difference as previously mentioned. Now let's move on to the screenshot for 11 a.m. Now we're going to do exactly the same thing. We're going to move it across a little bit. There we go. And let's match it. And more or less, again, the same situation as seen before. Now this is the one where everyone saw, I think, and I hope, a big difference. So let's see what happens. So again, we're moving it. And there we go. And stop. Wow. Look at that difference. Phuket, you actually fudged the results, didn't you? No better display of intellectual dishonesty here. Wow. Is there any clearer proof that any flat earther will fudge the results to fit the narrative? I think not. And don't forget, these screenshots are taken from his video, so anyone can do what I just did. Now, the 4 p.m. will be very interesting because in Phuket's graph, this is where the sun diminishes, uh, squashes a little bit. So it's a bit of a different size. So now we're moving it again and lo and behold, it does not change sizes. I wonder why. And finally, the 6 p.m. one, where we do expect some compression, so some squishing of the sun because of atmospheric lensing. And lo and behold, that is the only one that actually matches. And not so much on the sides, but I'm not too picky. Now, if we put them all together, this is what it looks like. But we can't actually see it proper, can we? So what I did was I cut all the extra and just left the suns. So we can have a clear idea of Fouquet's intellectual dishonesty. There we go. Out of five pictures, out of five screenshots of the sun, only one, the one we globe earthers expect to be smaller because of, you know, atmospheric lensing, is the one that actually is smaller than the other ones. Sun changing sizes over the day, debunked. Prove me wrong, Fouquet. Now, when reviewing my video, I came across this image. And with a little Google research, I found out that this is a welder's glass. And I thought, wow, he's using a welder's glass to um, film the sun. Then I thought, hmm, let me Google a little bit more just to find out if this is actually appropriate to film the sun. And this is what I found that most glasses are not suitable for viewing the sun or eclipses. Then I Googled a little bit more and found out that the minimum would be shade 14. Now, let's have a look again at the screenshot from um, Fouquet's video. So, Fouquet's glass has DIN11, which means shade 11. I really, really hope he didn't look at the sun directly using this glass of shade 11. And this is all I have for you today. I know this is an old video, but let's be honest, 
They never change what they say, so three years ago, two years ago, yesterday, they keep saying the same thing over and over again, so there we go. I hope you enjoyed it, see you on my next video. If you like this video, subscribe, hit the bell button, like, and don't forget to share. If you wish to support me further, consider buying my merchandise or becoming one of my Patreons.